Will the Giants regret trading Odell Beckham Jr.? First take right now. My focus is on our team, not where any of these players' contracts are relative to another player. I'm not dealing in the market. I'm dealing with what, how to fit this team together. Mm -hmm. And so if uh, the kind of advisor, if I'm listening to advice, is how to get all of these top players under the cap. It's not like me going out here and buying something that I have to decide, well, do I want to just spend that to have that? That's not it at all. It's that I've got to realize that I can let a DeMarcus wear out of here because I don't have enough money because I paid it to too many others. That happened to me. And so I don't want that to happen again. And we've got some top talent here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into a fresh hour of First Take. I am crewed up. NFL Network analyst, former coach, Brian Billick here with us. Good to have you, sir. It's amazing, that order. You know, you think right. of yourself a certain way. Yeah. You know, <laughs> coach and you were Super Oh, Bowl, sorry. Did I, I, I did the NFL Network No, no, no. You were, you were great. You were great. It's I good remember to when, see you. Back when I first finished, they did a, a I did some Coors Light. They took live clips. Yeah. Which was great. It was fun. Of you know, taped up, and they had a you know fun time with it. And I'd go through the airport, and people, go, oh, you're that Coors Light guy. And I'm going, I, evidently I am. <laughs> <laughs> evidently that's who that I is am. Your identity now. to uh, that guess, person. Right. Yes. No, Joe DiMaggio was Mr. Coffee. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right, Max and Stephen A. Guys, let's get the party started. You just heard Jerry Jones on the Cowboys' philosophy with players' contracts as superstars Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott await new long-term deals from Dallas. A deal has finally been inked. But with Jalen Smith, according to our Todd Archer, the linebacker who is set to be a restricted free agent after the season has signed an extension for five years, $64 million, $35.5 million guaranteed. That's the third most in terms of guaranteed money at that position. Stephen A., who should be more upset after this deal? Would you go Dak or Well, first of all, I don't want to say the word. To answer the word upset, if you had to pick one of the two, I would say Dak. Okay. But in reality, I don't think anybody should be upset. When we consider what this dude went through, you know, coming into the NFL, the ACL, the MCL injury, how nasty that was, speculation about where his career would go because of it, with folks looking at him, knowing what a stud he was before that injury, and for him to come into the NFL and to do what he has done, it's special. And he deserves this money, and I'm incredibly happy for him. I truly, truly am. Having said all of that, Again, nobody should be upset with him. Nobody should be upset with him getting his money. But if we had to pick somebody other two, you're going to go with the quarterback. And I'm going to say this the reason why. Dak Prescott hasn't missed a game. Best ability is availability, first of all. 48 games he could have played in his NFL career. 48 games he did play. Hasn't missed a start, okay? Two times they've been to the postseason. I understand that Ezekiel Elliott is the bell cow. 322 carries as a rookie. 304 carries last year. Then get suspended to six games in his second year. He might have been the league leader rushing for three consecutive years and probably had another 300-plus carries as well. We get all of that. But it ain't like Dak Prescott has been some scrub. It ain't like he's been devoid of the ability to show he can make plays and he can do some good things for you, not to mention his leadership, not to mention the fact that he's somewhat of an extension of Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, et cetera, in terms of what they want from their organization. And last but not least, Coach, when you look at a guy like Jason Garrett, there have been questions about him. I'll be nice because you're here, okay? <laughs> but there have been questions about Jason Garrett. So if you're taking those things... Not every things coach has won a Super Bowl. I don't know if well, you're let me say this. Or, but, or that it matters but, but, sometimes. That's right. But let me say this real quickly. You had a different offensive coordinator. Now you got Kellen Moore in there, okay? So clearly there were some questions. Jason Garrett didn't get his contract extension. So clearly Jerry Jones has some questions about him. All of those things Dak Prescott has worked around, he's still there, still doing his job, and other quarterbacks who haven't achieved are getting paid $27, $28, 29000000 million yeah. a year. Why not him? Well, you can't, in my opinion, there's two types of teams in the NFL. Okay. Teams with a quarterback and teams that don't have a quarterback. Mm -hmm. And okay. if you don't, you're all about we better find it, procure it, find a way to get it fixed. Mm -hmm. If you believe you've got one in Dak Prescott, and obviously they do, and rightfully so, mm -hmm. it's not a matter if you're, if you're going to try to say, is he worth the money? Hard for me to imagine anybody worth that amount of money, but in t that's what you pay a starting quarterback that's established himself. Does that mean he's the best quarterback? Is that the best money you're going to spend? There's no comparison when you look at the running back position, which through no fault of Ezekiel Elliott's is devalued a little bit. Correct. Ezekiel, I think, was the only 300-plus carry last year. Correct. And, and also knowing that, and I understand Ezekiel, he, this is his big contract. It's the second contract that that's where you got to hit pay dirt. 
because the next one, once you start to approach 30 as a running oh, yeah. back, Dak Prescott can be the Dallas Cowboys quarterback long into his 30s. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of reasons why you have to take care of that first. The Jalen Smith thing, sometimes you've got to kind of, this is, I hope I don't misrepresent, you got to kind of clear the books a little bit. Before we get these other big contracts done, We not that it's a lesser contract because we'd all like to have it, but sometimes you have to take care of the lesser contracts before you can establish what we're going to do with the big two. Mm -hmm. um, First of all, I think the answer is actually Zeke, who should be most up I agree with Stephen, who should be upset. The guy's getting paid. Once you put a salary cap in, it is so that the players fight over the, the money because there's a limited amount of money. There's no such thing as resetting the market. That's nonsense. It, Jerry Jones put in a salary cap so that he could pocket the money instead of giving it to the players. Those are what a salary cap means. And so now, so when you hear, well, this one wants to reset the market, that's only for his position group, right? Like, that's for his position. Every dollar you take to pay Peter, you got to rob from Paul. That's the way the NFL works. The reason Ezekiel Elliott should be more upset than anybody right now is he will be underpaid. The quarterback position is overvalued. It doesn't mean it's not by far the most important position. Of course it is. But, but the reason I say that is the highest paid quarterbacks rarely win the Super Bowl mm -hmm. because you're giving them so much money. A lot of times there's not enough to put around them. That's why Tom Brady always restructures because coach. And, and by the way, what you it, it, it's almost like it's needless to say what you have forgotten about football. I will never know. Nevertheless, I disagree with you here mm -hmm. because I think it's over that, that especially football people, people with experience. No, man, if you don't have a quarterback, you don't have anything. So you just got to no, but that doesn't mean you just got to pay that guy anything mm -hmm. because then you really don't have resources for other guys. So th there's a big three on offense we always hear about Dak, Zeke and Amari Cooper now. But there's a big three on defense too. Demarcus Lawrence got paid. Van Der Esch is on a rookie deal. They got him locked up. I would actually say Jalen Smith probably has the best argument to be the third guy in the big three on defense. There are a couple other candidates. But he's big. The cornerback. Yeah. And Van Der Esch Sean Lee's a little and bit older. And he took a team-friendly deal. Right. So, so, so Ezekiel Elliott, Dak's going to get paid for the reason you said. Amari's playing good soldier. He stays healthy. He's going to get paid. The question is, will Zeke ever get paid what he's worth? Will ahead, he coach. ever? Go ahead, no, Coach. No. Uh, and, and here's where I'll disagree a little bit because I'm with you 100%. To try to place the value on it, okay, you're going to play great defense. He's going to pay the defenders. And I'm going to pay Ezekiel Elliott, and he's going to be a 300-carry guy. Can I win a championship with that? No. Mm -hmm. We did back in 2000 with that formula because there was a void of great quarterback play. We had transitioned out of the Aikmans and the Montanas and the Youngs. We had not yet come into the uh, Peyton Mannings and the Breezes. One of the whatever. best defenses of no all question. time. So, and I'm not, you know, obviously very proud of that, but I don't know that in today's game, we could do as good as that defense was, and you're right, it was the greatest of all time on a record that will never be broken in terms of the defensive scoring record. But in today's game, now I don't know if, uh, if Dak Prescott mm -hmm. is a Super Bowl caliber quarterback or not. They have to make that decision to say, mm -hmm. yes, we think he is. Because I will tell you, no matter what money you put in the defense and how good that running back is, in today's game, that alone okay. is not enough. Here's where I'm coming to you, and it's just with a huh? question. It's not a debate, it's a question. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about when you talk about Super Bowl champions that had a leading rusher, Terrell Davis, 1998, I believe, with, with John Elway in Denver, and obviously Emmitt Smith with the Cowboys. Outside of that, no Super Bowl champion has had a, a leading rusher, a bell cow, right. really carrying the ball for them and really, really leading their offense. But we assume that you can't win that way. As a coach that coached in the NFL, that obviously knows football, that is not an exceptional NFL analyst on television, by the way, let me ask you this question. Is it really that way, or is it something that the NFL has chosen to adopt? In other words, you've got teams that want to be pass happy because they may not have an Ezekiel Elliott or whatever. But is it really an ingrained belief that if I got a running back, the caliber of Ezekiel Elliott, it doesn't make a difference. He's the focal point of our offense, so we ain't winning the Super Bowl. Is that really the belief? Just follow what the league has done by way of the rules. Okay. Everything about the rules is about – Points, let, protect the quarterback, protect receivers down the field. Mm -hmm. And that's not diminish. It's interesting in the two guys you point out, Terrell Davis and Emmitt Smith, also happen to have future Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Now, they may have been – John Elway at that stage may not have been the dominant quarterback of Correct. the time, but these are two Super Bowl – or I should say, yes, Super Bowl winning and Hall of Fame quarterbacks. So, I'm not, I'm not saying that to play great defense, sign Ezekiel Elliott, and have a good, solid, serviceable quarterback – 
that that maybe doesn't win for you. But if he does, the minute you win a Super Bowl with that guy, he's going to go, well, now you got to pay me because now I'm a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Look why it's Zeke who should be upset, guys. Jerry Jones is being very smart about this. That dude is loyal. That dude is being quiet. He came back from injury. He's a cap that he wants to be a cowboy. For, I'm going to pay that guy. But it's going to be below market. I want to send the message. We are not setting the market. Well, Dak doesn't have to set the market to get paid. Because that's the way quarterbacks are paid. But now there's less money to go around. And he's, and he's telling Ezekiel Elliott, even though you're going to get less than everyone else, you're also not going to set the market. Well, that's what the players do. To my frustration as a coach when you watch all this, and I, my mentor, God bless his soul, Denny Green, always said there's a time for pay and there's time for play. Mm -hmm. And when you mix the two, you have a problem. So when it's a time for pay, as a coach, you bite your tongue, you sit back and go, okay, you all take care of that. Because when it's a time to play, although it's a bit of a facade, you got to hold that at arm's length. And so however they deal with that, Jerry Jones has to look, because the players have to understand, you already said it, the pie is set. Every dollar I pay you, I got to take a little out of your contract. And for you two to stay, you got to go. That's life in the National Football League. This isn't the NBA. It's not Major League Baseball. There are you know, ways around it. Dallas has already lived through the nightmare of, with Troy Aikman, going to bank Aikman. When anytime a quarterback says, well, I'm going to take a hit for the team and, and yep. I'm going to take less. No, 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 no. You're just deferring that money until later. No, you're you're going to get paid. And, and that's real spit, which I appreciate. We have to get in a commercial break, but yeah. you mentioned Did your you Super Bowl. real spit to, to, to coach? Sorry. I'm I don't think you know what real – do you know what real spit is? Okay. Oh, Way to make it awkward. Coach, I wanted to compliment you on okay. your Super Bowl, by the way. You had Thank the greatest defense ever with Ray Lewis. You guys allowed the fewest points in a season. Absolutely Appreciate incredible. It. Thank you for staying with us, yep. even though I'm using – Real spit means real, real spit. talk. Does it? Real oh, talk. Six gotta, Super Bowls, four that. Super Bowl <laughs> MVP. Sorry, Coach. Killing me. Tom Brady's the GOAT, right? You don't want to miss what one of the NFL's top quarterbacks is saying about TB12. That's coming spin. up next. How's the clip? <laughs>